What's up everyone, for this Tech Tuesday, we're gonna check out a Subaru in its natural habitat. So here we have a 2005 Subaru STI. The car came in with issues with the variable valve timing on the left side. It would work great when the car was cold, but once the car was heated up, it would stop working. All of a sudden, VVT wouldn't go advanced, wouldn't go retarded. Right side worked fine, but left side wouldn't. Customer had the engine actually rebuilt, expecting that to fix the issue, uh, which it didn't. They replaced solenoids, they swapped wires around. Either way, big mess, we're here to fix it. We figured out what's going on. So I'm gonna show you, after we tore this engine apart, what we actually found. And we kind of theorized that what the problem would be, um, and we were correct once we pulled it apart. So as you can see, we've got both sides pulled apart. We've got the cylinder heads exposed. And I have the camshafts over here laying on the bench. So what we suspected was happening was that when the engine got hot, oil pressure was bleeding past this journal. Now you can see outside these oil galleries here, this is where the oil comes into the cam phaser. There's our cam phasers. And that's what advances and retards the timing. But this journal is actually so badly worn out that oil pressure, once it heats up, is going past. Now what we did to figure this out, how bad it was, is we used something called plastic gauge. Now this is like this thin little wax material here that you put on the component that you're trying to check the clearance on, and when you tighten it down, it squishes it, and then the amount that it squishes, you can see that there, you put it up against this gauge here, and it tells you basically what the clearance is. So as you can see with this one, it barely even squished it at all. At the back side here, it did a little bit, but at the front, it didn't even hit, but it almost didn't even touch the plastic gauge. So spec for this camshaft is actually uh, 3.9 thou. So this is a 4 thou plastic gauge. And if it didn't even squish it, we know we have more than 4 thou clearance. So we actually took a vernier caliper to it. We didn't do a micrometer, but got us close. This is actually 10 thousandths of an inch smaller than what uh, this one is. This one is actually exactly in the middle of the range that Subaru specified. This one is 10 thousandths of an inch underside. So there's your answer. Oil is bleeding past this inside the journal of cylinder head. So I have a cylinder head out here. As you can see, this journal here, and this is the one that we actually plastic aged and it was perfect. So oil is bleeding past this, not allowing the VVT to work once the oil gets thin and the engine gets hot. So this is why it's important to actually do proper diagnosis rather than just throwing parts at a car and hopefully it fixes it. So hope you enjoy this and welcome back to Subarus.